and violence. Both of them involve an act of terrorism. Each one justify it. One justify it in the name of man, sovereignty for man. One justify it in the name of Allah, sovereignty for Almighty Allah. One he believe and I believe his act of terrorism is a form of a praised act in Islam, not the dispraise, whereas the act of terrorism and violence of US forces and American forces is a form of dispraised act of violence and terrorism. Not all violence is bad. Sometimes doctors may use violence to save life. Sometimes we know Mujahideen, all the resistance in South Lebanon, they use violence to protect life. But as Israeli violence, to kill lives. It's what is different between two forms of violence. You cannot condemn any form of resistance, any form of violence. You can condemn killing with cold blood. You see, those innocent people, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslims, those who are really with you under covert security, you can condemn it. If Al-Qaeda was people who are just going out and killing innocent people, or killing people who are with them living under covenant, we will condemn Al-Qaeda. We are not a people who follow Bin Laden as he is the prophet of the, of, the, of the end of the time, or he is the Mahdi or the revivalist. We believe he is a, he is a Mujahid, he is a fighter. He fought against the Soviet Union when they was occupied in Afghanistan. And he fought as well uh, with his brothers against the American forces. First of all, these ideas of civilian and uh, military man, we should ourselves really little bit, you know, think about it deeply. Otherwise, it's really very pathetic thought. Why? Somebody, he come occupied my land, and he was wearing his own military clothes. I cannot fight him if himself take it off and wear pajama bajam after that. You see, I can't imagine how could somebody, his uniform, make his life, you see, really has no sanctity, and without uniform, his life really has sanctity or has no sanctity. In Islam, we don't see it like this. We see it, you are either at war with us, you reject to have treaty with us, or you accept it. If you reject it, we have the right to fight you back. And if you fight us, we can fight you back. If you don't with me really, if you have treaty with us, we will never fight against you, unless you are occupiers, like in the case of Israel. Now, the case of Israel is the same case of American forces in Iraq and Afghanistan. Islamic rules regarding the people who occupied Muslim land, that they are a target for the Muslims wherever they are. Now, unless there is covenant to prevent that, I think this is the difference between what I believe and maybe what the other people believe. Plus, Al-Qaeda and Muslims in general suppose to fight not for the sake of land. You see, it seems to me somehow those who believe in resistance Muqawama, they believe to fight for the land. What a piece really, uh, what, what really, so, I'm sorry about that. that. And, we and don't fight got, for the land. Got, what do you consider, so, what do you consider Hezbollah, fighting for a land or fighting for Allah, for God? I believe, you know, those who have been created from mud, we should not fight for mud, become muddy life. Allah created us from mud. We don't fight for the sake of Shiba field or Palestine or Iraq as a Baghdad. If you don't fight the the word of Allah is the highest, we'll never count the so fight. Do, do you think that Hezbollah is not working for the sake of God? I believe Hezbollah, it is really resistance Lebanese movement and the nationalistic Lebanese resisting movement. They never declared they want to establish Islam. I never heard it. I never see it. And they fight only purely to liberate, you see, Shiba, or even if they have any other land, but not for the sake to establish the Islamic State, they never say that. Unless they say it under the table, I don't know. But I'm judging Hezbollah in Lebanon. Hezbollah in so Lebanon. If, so if, they want to be Hezbollah in Lebanon. They want to remove the Lebanese constitution and bring Islamic constitutions. I hope that's the case. But is, if that is, that is not the case, I can't myself put word in the own mouth. So that's why you don't go to the south and fight, uh, you, know, don't, you don't fight the Israeli occupation forces? No. I, That's will, why? I will go there, but I don't think you know, Hezbollah he can carry or he can handle our call there. Because if we carry there, we fight to establish Islamic law and order in Lebanon, I think Hezbollah will stop us first. Because Hezbollah part of the indigenous Lebanese nationalistic uh, pattern, which believe in the Lebanese constitutions. Whereas Al-Qaeda don't believe in that. Al-Qaeda don't fight for the sake of Baghdad. What a silly thing to fight for. We fight for the sake to be Islamic law and order established in the entire Iraq. 
in Islam, the Prophet Muhammad, may the peace of Allah be upon him, fought against civilian people. I think you know you have never read maybe about Islam properly. Banu Nadir, it was three people who portrayed the Prophet Muhammad, and all the other who are civilian from the tribes did not portray him, only three, but they are the leaders. The other, they just left them. The Prophet, he sent his companions, they put him under siege, and he said to them, spoil their own water, cut their own trees, burn their own tents, throw them out. And when they fight against them and throw the catapult on them, they said, we found among them who been killed, women and children. He said, they are part of them, but never target them. Mean, they could have been hit and was in the target, they were the target. The same thing Banu, Banu Quraidha. Banu Quraidha, it was a well-known case. 700 of the, from the Jewish community been slaughtered in the front of the messenger Muhammad, the message, the messenger of love and peace is a messenger of war as well. I think if we try to just please the West and say nothing called jihad, nothing called this mean really fight, only love, I think we are really going to be involved in muta, a relationship all the time with the Western people. We are talking about now Islam. Islam talk about love, fight more than about really love. You want to terrify non-Muslims? I, I believe, I believe the issue of fear is very healthy, very healthy. God created us with instincts and with as well really with organic need. We have surviving instincts. We have as well we all the time fear. So and the fear is very in healthy. That case, in that Look, case, you want to make... Fear, if you fear from ignorance, you seek education. If you fear yourself from really poverty, you start to walk.